ducking punches and trying to reason with drunks. These aren't bouncers. These are city bus drivers assigned to the route on Central. Most recently, a driver had to turn away a couple of passengers after they tried to sneak booze on the bus and things got heated. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live downtown at the main bus station. Amanda? Well, Jessica, drivers call this line the beast, and that's why a lot of the experienced city bus drivers try to avoid it. Driving a city bus along Central is no easy task. It gets rough. It's not just the traffic and the high ridership. Drivers will tell you there are more problem passengers on Central than any other line. You do get in a lot of situations, and unfortunately, it does involve drunks. The latest example, this woman swaying back and forth yesterday afternoon as she tries to hop on the bus near UNM. The driver asked to smell what's in her water bottle. He suspects it's booze. He was right. But the woman refused and raises her hand at the driver. Don't touch me, I'll throw you off the bus. Eventually, another passenger pushes her off the bus. In August, a guy carrying a 12 pack of beer went berserk when the driver told him to get off the bus. The driver fought back. I encourage drivers all the time, you know. Handle the situation as best as you can, but you also defend yourself. The city doesn't believe there's a problem with who's riding the buses on Central. An ABQ ride spokesman believes it comes down to numbers. Almost 45% of all the city's bus passengers take the Central line. If you have more ridership, mathematically it stands to reason that if you're going to have something that happens, uh, it may happen along that one. Another factor is that a lot of the people behind the wheel on the Central line are new to the job. The veterans avoid that route. And even though drivers can turn people away, new drivers have a hard time doing it. When you're here a long time, you learn to, I guess, read people, and they don't understand it yet. You know, they, they are trained to be nice and, you know, allow people in. Now, I asked bus union officials if drivers ever feel unsafe on this route. They say that some probably do, but that those drivers usually don't stick around long. Just back to you. Okay, Amanda, the city says drivers are trained to deal with unruly passengers, but if things get out of hand, they can call transit security for backup.